Hello and welcome to another Ginger Math Petition video. I'm going to go through my predictions for IGCSE 0580 Paper 4 and this is on the Monday 13th of February and Thursday the 4th of May. So I'm going to go through my trending here. One thing I've noticed over looking at the very recent past papers is that these table of values sketching graph style questions have dropped slightly of course. They do appear fairly often around 50% of the time but they are certainly going on the downside. Interior angles again is a as popular as ever again with the late 2022 papers so keep an eye on that and vectors has moved across more to the paper four rather than paper two but you can kind of guarantee that vectors will be on one of the papers in some way two transformations so this is normally a standalone question it's slightly slipped compared to previous years and previous predictions but again if it comes up it's going to be a big question and it's one of the easier topics on the course I do a very nice video on this you can check it out above Vectors, which I've just mentioned, again, the topic over those two papers, it's generally seen as a harder style question. So if you want those top grades, those A's and A stars, and it's a topic to master, and I put a very recent question there in front of you. Can you do that kind of question? Then you've got vectors in the bag. Probability, again, has appeared a lot on paper two as well, but also on paper four too, so keep that in mind. And it's often integrated, it's often parts of the statistics questions, and the Venn diagram questions as well. So it comes in at 62%, you need to keep an eye on it. Number skills. So this is an almost certain category. Again, it's one where it's one of the first questions on the paper. And again, can be a mixture of different things, a bit of standard form, a bit of ratio, a bit of working with multiples and factors and square numbers and things like this. And these are certainly marks you don't want to slip up on. And if you're looking for those C grades, for example, you want to make sure you're getting this question 100% of the time correct. Percentage calculations, again, has always been a stalwart of the paper four predictions, and that hasn't changed. Again, this can vary in skill, so towards the start or towards the middle of the paper. And make sure you've revised the topics like compound interest. Make sure you revise those topics with exponential functions, like you see in front of you. So they are changing these questions up slightly at the top end to include that kind of exponential decay and exponential functions in general. Differentiation, again, I mentioned the paper for prediction video, differentiation is always there, a whopping 108% of the time. It's an important topic if you want those top grades. And here is a very recent question, which is a slight twist on the normal differentiation questions that appear. I've done a really, really good video on this, so do check it out above. Volume and surface area, again, always a very, very big topic. That has simply not changed. Again, combined with similarity questions as well. Here's a quite a tough question from a recent paper four that if you can do that question, you're in good stead then to do well on these kinds of questions. Equation solving, again, always popular too. Now this can be a mixture of some quadratics in there, simultaneous equations, or a set of equations to solve like you see there. So this question here is a nice mixture of a bit of quadratic, but also general equation solving skills too. Sine cosine rule with bearings, again, it's always popular and it stayed popular as well, 100% of the time. So it's appeared on every paper so far or on average. And again, you're combining some of those angle skills that you know, and then towards the end of the question, looking at some bearings, looking at area of the triangle, and maybe using the cosine rule as well. And statistics, of course, again, cumulative frequency is as popular as ever, usually combined with some estimate of mean, like you see in front of you, or histograms on box plots. So that really big question they have in the middle of that paper four, make sure you can get all those marks. Quadratics is now being added to my prediction video as a separate topic. And that might be a bit surprising. You might not think it comes up that often, but it's again, integrated into lots of different questions. I was looking at this coordinate geometry question on one of the recent past papers. And notice when you've got two points that are intersecting, then you're gonna get a quadratic out of it. So this is some of the ways that they actually test your knowledge on quadratics. Now, if you're finding this really, really useful to you, I'd really appreciate it if you do like the video so it can spread to as many people as possible before they have their exams. 
Now, if you want a complete breakdown of exactly what appears on paper four over the last two years, over the last 13 papers, then you can see that in front of you. Please do keep in mind that those sometimes topics you see here, like functions with 54%, uh, inequalities with 46%, uh, circle theorems of 38%, they're probably going to appear in one of the papers. If you add together the paper two and the paper four uh, probabilities together, then they're probably going to appear 80, 90% of the time. So you really do need to take that into account and make sure you have covered the entire course. Now, talking of functions, if you've forgotten everything to do with composite functions and inverse functions and anything else with functions, then do check out the video in front of you. because I'm going to get you up to speed in one hour on all you need to know with functions.